This project's been on the back burner for about a year. Here's the culprit. A couple broken teeth on here. I think this is pretty common on these bikes. When I got the bike a year ago, it was really hard to find a replacement gear. Since then, a company in China has started reproducing them, and they're they're pretty affordable now. Yamaha didn't make as many bikes as Honda did, so that you know the XR250 is more popular than the TTR250. But I think the TTR is a more advanced. It's a better bike. The biggest thing is these are electric start. The XR250 never went to electric start. And this is a much more reliable platform than the CRF250X of the early 2000s. The 250X came with four less horsepower than the TTR250 and XR250. And the valves in the early 2000s, they couldn't get them straight. They wore super quick. In 2008, they figured out the valves and the valves were a little bit better. The bikes were still a little higher strung than the air-cooled TTR250 and didn't have the horsepower to show for it. This bike serves the Weekend Warrior better than the CRF250X, I think. I've been using a lot of these ring-style crimp clamps lately, and they really work good. Nice. Really hoping I remembered to empty out the carburetor bowl. Really don't want to have to clean that carburetor a second time. These batteries in here are a little goofy. They sit vertically. Not quite sure what I think of that. I suppose one drawback for people would be the lack of a kickstart. A lot of people like their redundancy. With a little bit of maintenance and foresight, dead battery doesn't usually sneak up on you. I suppose if you wanted the lowest maintenance bike possible, a kickstart only bike would, would be better for you. Now that logic expands to the fuel injected bikes too. I know a lot of guys, if you're riding around the world or going into third world countries and such, seem to want to stick with the carburetors instead of the fuel injection. I think for 99% of us though, these comfortable luxury amenities are so worth it. Electric start, and fuel injection, the more modern bikes are incredibly comfortable and fun to ride. The coolest feature of this TTR 250 is this little secret ignition switch down here. Give it a little choke. I'm so glad after sitting for a year I don't have to clean that carburetor again. Whew. My brother had said he was looking for a bike kind of like this. And he came to look at it. He told me he's going to want more horsepower. Which I can understand wanting more horsepower. But the bang for the buck on this thing is hard to beat. Oh, look at this thing go! This thing's great. All the power you need, nothing you don't. Easier to stay safe on the 250. Practice my one-handed wheelies. Really not safe at all. Talk about cost per smile ratio. Something like this, electric start, air-cooled, low maintenance, full-size wheels, lots of suspension, way more than like a 230. Just runs so good, just listen, oh. It's gonna be hard to beat something like this for the, for the money. Yeah, kids, go tell your dad, Uncle Johnny's got his bike ready.